what's going on guys we are back here with another australian day and today we are checking out this video right here it's called best things about australia guys so yeah this is going to be pretty interesting i'm not sure if these two people here are actually australian or probably just like tourists but yeah let's watch let's find out guys and yeah let's get right on with it hey everybody welcome back we are still here in self-isolation in australia we're flying back home soon probably a few days from the time this video uploads and we just wanted to look back at our time here in Australia and talk about some of our favorite things. Okay, so these guys are not from Australia. If you are new to this channel, we are Jenny and Logan and we left the US back in August of 2019. We traveled to nine countries over the course of two months and ultimately landed in Australia in mm -hmm. October of 2019 and we've been living and working here ever since. If you like this video or have watched any of our other videos and like those, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when our next videos are posted. So you see, these guys actually traveled the world, we would say, and landed in Australia, and they actually re really much enjoyed it. So it seems like they stuck with staying in Australia. Let's see how that turned out for them. That usually happens once a week around midweek. We'd really appreciate it. It really helps us out. Thank you. <laughs> so let's get into it. We're gonna go through our top 15 things that we have loved about living here in Australia. Top 15 favorite things about living in Australia. We had a longer list. Yeah. But I had to shorten it because the video would get too long. It was hard to narrow it down because truth be told, we have really loved living here. So there are a lot of things to pick from. Number one, the weather. It's a beautiful day here in Sydney. Luckily, I guess we're leaving at winter time, so we've only really experienced the best part. It's just been nice, not too cold. When it rains, it rains. That is true, yeah. But, but we've loved it. Yeah, you don't really have to look up the day, too much. Okay. You can pretty much guarantee that five out of the seven days of the week are gonna be sunny and nice. We've been very spoiled with nice weather. And number two, if you watched any of our recent videos, we talked a lot about this in more detail, but we've really loved the laid back and relaxed culture, not only in the workplace, but just the attitude of Australians overall. Um, when it comes to work, that means lots more vacation days and just a more casual atmosphere in the office. And then I guess when it comes to life here in Australia, Australians just tend to be more go with the flow, easy going, been a nice atmosphere to be in. Okay. And number three, authentic Asian food options. Asian so food? that was not expecting that to be honest. Asian food in Australia. Okay, okay. We love the food here in Australia. We've gotten awesome Thai food, Chinese, Vietnamese, Vietnamese. So they Japanese. have the whole traditional. <laughs> it's all fantastic, and we're really gonna miss it. So much. from other and countries as well. number four is Merrickville, the town we live in, and okay. just the Sydney suburbs in general. Mm. So we've spent most of our time in Australia living in Merrickville. We love the proximity to the beach, to the city. We love the town itself. We just said if we could plop Merrickville back home, we would be quite happy. <laughs> Great place. So number five for our favorite things, I guess this is more specific to Sydney. Public mm. transport has been great. Never needed a car, just had our Opal cards. Okay. Took the train and metro combination to work most days for the most part, fairly efficient. Obviously there were a couple rough, long, delayed mornings to get to work, but it happens. For the most part, thumbs up. And coming in at number six are the beautiful Sydney beaches and coastal walks. So we didn't get to spend as much time at the beach Sydney as beach. we had wanted to because a lot of them have been closed for a while now. But we did get to go to Manly Beach, we've gone to Bondi. Shelly. Shelly. Wow. I did the Coogee to Bondi walk. The coastline is just gorgeous and the fact that you're so beautiful close to the beaches. city is just crazy. It's you can't beat it. And number seven, the fantastic wildlife here in Australia. <laughs> so we didn't get to see as much as we hoped. We had quite the list of animals we wanted to go explore and see. Kangaroos, on our trip. Poppers, whale sharks. Yeah. One but, day. But we saw a kookaburra this week. We did see a kookaburra this week. That was really exciting. At number eight, we picked the people we've met and the friends we've made. So overall, we found Australians to be really friendly. Um, we've talked about our Airbnb hosts a number of times. They're fantastic. Yeah, the we've made I, some really great friends. From what I've seen, guys, they do seem pretty friendly. So yeah, that's I just really haven't had a thing. problem meeting nice people here. 
And I'm gonna do number nine too because I drink more coffee than Logan does, but I have fallen in love with flat whites. The coffee flat here in whites. Australia is Never heard to of die that, actually. for. It's all espresso based. You can go down to any cafe oh. around the corner, pay two to three dollars, and get an amazing coffee. Okay. It is something I'm going to miss so much when we leave. Starbucks doesn't fly here. You yeah. just go to the local place and you know, get a great cup of coffee. It's the best. And number 10, the Australian Open. Australian Luckily Open. we were here when things weren't locked down in January. We took a quick flight to Melbourne and saw the awesome Australian Open for like okay. 60 bucks or something. We got a okay. ground pass, saw so much great tennis, made it into a stadium. It was a great event. It was so cool. I really enjoyed that. Way more than I thought I would. It's more than just tennis. More than just tennis. And number 11, the work and holiday yep. visa. It's an awesome opportunity visa. that you have, if you're a certain age, to come and live and work in a new place on the other side of the world. It's just a really great experience, how much opportunity you have here to travel, mm -hmm. work, meet new people. It's just something I think is really neat about Australia. It's so unique, and we're so fortunate that we could take advantage of it. We'd recommend. <laughs> Highly. Number 12 is something that I think we catch ourselves saying probably weekly. We absolutely love the international feel of Sydney. Mm -hmm. It's the most international city either of us have ever lived in. And it's really cool to sit on the train and hear a lot of different languages, so many different food options. Yeah, I, just... I do like believe in Australia there's it's not just Australian there are like a lot of Greeks from what I know I don't know what other like nationalities they actually have in Australia but yeah let me know in the comments by the way let me know what nationalities are like living in Australia this feels like a very worldly city and we really have enjoyed that about Sydney Hey, Sydney. <laughs> and number 13, we're almost there. This one is for me. I really enjoy the terrible, crappy re okay, like... <laughs> reality TV shows that okay. they have here. I'm a sucker for Married at First Sight and The Bachelor. Love Island. Love Island, I've discovered. We don't have that in the US. And they have a UK version too, which I've been good and haven't watched. Yeah, but... Love Island, they have that on Netflix. So yeah, I haven't really seen the whole series, but I've seen an episode or two, so I know what it's about. Not good, not quality TV, but really entertaining, and I have eaten it up. Sorry, Logan. And number 14, just so you have plenty of options for things to do when you're not in lockdown. <laughs> yeah. You're close to the beach, you can go to the mountains, go for bush walks, Outdoor movie theaters. Ooh, outdoor movie theaters, bro. Come on. That, that is amazing. Cricket matches. Cricket matches. Music venues. It's just a great cultural hub. Always something uh, to do. There, there's actually quite a few things you can do like during the night as well. So that's cool. Can't be bored. Luckily, we've gotten to do a lot Hopeless of things. things. Yeah. Except in mountains this year. No mountains. Finishing off the list at number 15 is contactless payment. It's been really handy, contactless easy, payment. tap and go, yep. good to go. It Let's hasn't really picked up your, the US, maybe it has since we've been gone, we can help. It's just made life really convenient. Yeah, and we had it in the UK a couple years ago and we just said, why don't we do this at home? This is so much easier. So it's a really silly little thing, but it's, something. it's a nice perk. And there you have it. That's our list of our 15 top things we love about living in Australia. Like we said, the list was really hard to narrow down because we could go on and on. We have loved living in Sydney and that made it a really hard decision for us to go home. We're curious if you agree with our list. If you're Australian or you've been to Australia, let us know in the comments what your hey. favorite things are. So we feel like we might give a skewed perception on how much we like being here. And it's true, we really do love being here, but we want to balance it out a little bit. So next week, we're going to talk about some things that we wish Australia had or things that we miss from home. So make sure to stay tuned because that video will come out next week. But thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to see what some of your favorite things are in the comments and hope you're staying safe. Okay, so that video was actually pretty pretty interesting. I would love to hear your thoughts as well about this one. I mean, I don't know, just looking at this video really made me like Australia even more. I already loved it, but yeah, this, this just opens your mind even more and more. So yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts 
of this video in the comment section below if anything was missing comment it down below and guys if you do have any other video suggestions you'd like me to check out just comment the link in the comments and yeah i will be checking it out thanks for watching guys hope you'll enjoy like the video subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one guys peace out